Hello my soccer universe and welcome to the review of round 2 of the Austrian Bundesliga. The mood in Linz is not great. Uh, let's put it that, that, that way. Both Linz teams uh, have only one point each. For Blavis it's probably a little bit better because they opened just a new stadium. But I have to say for Lusk uh, it's getting stormy. It's really getting stormy already. I'm not one to make uh, quick judgments on the season because you always need to let a coach work, but the uh, general mood is rather, rather low. And the derby is coming up. We'll talk about that and there will be a own video coming for that one as well. But uh, the major news in Austria overall that also affected the Bundesliga are the torrential rainfalls that we had and in the south of Austria, in Kärnten and also south of Steiermark, there have been major floodings which caused the game between Austria Klagenfurt and Wolfsburg, the kind of a, a Corinthian derby, Kärnten derby, uh, to be postponed until Wednesday. It is not that the pitch was not ready to, to be played, but they said even two kilometers away from the stadium there are uh, major floodings and it doesn't feel right to have a game there. I think everyone agreed with that. Uh, Austria Klagenfurt even went so far as to then donate the all the catering from the game um, to uh, the authorities that they distributed to people in need. So uh, bravo there. And yes, the situation at the moment in Austria is not pretty. We are fine here in Linz, but it's stormy otherwise. But I would say we'll run through the games. You see the results here. Rapid win against Altach. Uh, Rapid really showed what they showed already ready against Laska. They can be a very potent team, a very quick attacking team, uh, especially as Nicolas Kungai, who already caused some havoc for Lask and he did the same thing against Altach. Uh, that it was it was only a 4-0 defeat there. Rapid were really good. They're looking good at the start of the season. You know. Early signs, again, it's very early in the season, so um, I don't want to draw any major conclusions. But at the moment, I have to say, it looks rather, rather promising what Rapid are showing. And uh, they went into the season kind of down, and now they're starting to feel themselves. Uh, Auer and Burgstaller complete, um, complete destruction of Alta, who probably look at another relegation battle already. Uh, they would have scored a goal late, but then it was called uh, off for offside. Something I didn't really quite see. But yeah, this was the only game, so I had a lot of focus because there should have been a Canton Derby at the same time, but it did not happen. Um, where I also put a lot of focus, and you know, uh, the rainfalls then in Vienna were so bad that the whole studio uh, was without electricity, so they only did it from Graz, and then it was very Sturm Graz heavy, which already bothered me. But on the other side, it was deserved. Um, Sturmgras showed that they are a good step above Lusk still. That they, they have the continuity. Lusk changed the coach. I think if Lusk would have continuity, it would have been a much better, better, better game. But um, the first game, it was kind of tentative. Lusk tried to stay compact. But their pressing is not working. They want to do the high press aggressive system that you know Red Bull Salzburg were known for. But you know, only half of the players are doing it and only doing it half heartedly. So uh, Sturm could always play themselves out of the pressing CA situation, something that they're anyway good at. And as soon as they kicked it into the next, next gear, Lask was on the back foot and it did not look good, to, to be honest. What looked good though was the go ahead goal through Tommy Horvath, who again, uh, after the Cup semi final, where he scored the decisive goal, again uh, scores already the decisive goal. Beautiful shot from the outside. However, it also has, as I said, if a defender clears towards the middle and then you have all the players in, 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 in the box and he can actually line up the shot without being really blocked, it's also a rather lackadaisically defending. So that didn't, didn't look good. So first half it was clear the Sturm Graz were the better team. However, there should have been a penalty for Lask. I'm absolutely certain about that. Again, against Rapid, I don't know why this did not give a seemingly... Uh, the new directive to the refs is to, when the referee decides a judgment call for a fire penalty, it will stay, and if it, he, he doesn't, it will not. It's only for a clear and obvious error, and there were a few more in other games as well. Not sure I like that directive, because while Lusk 
in this case, I think I'm fine because uh, the result would not have been deserved if they get a penalty and make it 1-1, one, one, but it was a clear pull away. Having a build-up there was also a foul, so yeah, I guess, guess it's fine. But I would have... I think the penalty should have, should have been given, but okay. Second half, a game against R, starting slow, Lusk making a few changes, and you know, they also had to make six lineup changes, uh, two because of injuries. So that was already something in the four voluntary ones. So, um, you know, you don't build a good team by making that many changes as well. Uh, but the game was a little bit more open in the second half and actually Lusk had a few chances. And, you know, with a little bit better finishing, you could get there. And just in that uh, phase, um, a nice attack by Sturm, where Schneck plays it over to Vlodacic, who is completely forgotten by the defense and heading it in. So yeah, that was that and I was happy it didn't get worse there because I think it could have been three uh, as well. At the moment I see more questions than answers for Lusk and uh, it is not that I'm against the new coach and his ideas but I'm very much wondering why this is not working quite yet. This was a very well functioning team. And they said they just need to make some minor adjustments and we need to avoid uh, giving up that many goals, blah, blah, blah. It's just the whole, um, I think, well, over the morning, the, the whole communication from the club side was not working because we got so many new players and you know, all of them are exciting, blah, blah, blah. We get a few more millions in. But in the end, if the product on the field uh, doesn't look good, it feels very much like two seasons ago when they also had a slow start and then it all went really pear-shaped quickly. And this is what... Lusk is what is very potent is a very big potential for Lusk and you know I did not want to have that the derby is already a must win game but at the moment it is an absolute must win game for Sturm Graz though it was a good showing for uh, their match against PSV Eindhoven I think Sturm Graz are a very potent team they they can surprise you they can really surprise you and they might they are a tad above the rest of of the league except for Salz, or Salzburg, and at the moment it would be really interesting to see how uh, they, those two will match up. Last one also, I'm wearing a pink jersey, of course Sturm Graz are having an all black look and uh, the last leadership always said that we only play in pink when there's no other option. All black against all white would have worked and for some reason they played in pink, which of course has all the fan base very much up in arms. But yeah, the weather is reflective of the current mood in Lusk land. That much is for sure. Over, then uh, we had on uh, Sunday, uh, three really interesting games. I mean, Austria losing against, against Austria Vienna. This was already the playoff game for the Conference League spot. And also, Austria Vienna coming over uh, off a very credible win at Banja Luka, moving on in the Conference League playoff. And also had a really good cool showing. The one thing that hurt me a little bit the first goal uh, was a cross in from Ramstel that Gruber converted. Those two just two seasons ago uh, played for Lusk. That hurts a little bit. Those were two, for especially Gruber, I, yes, he had a big in, in injury, but what he showed, I really like this player and that they let him go. Uh, it's something I will never forget. Austria Vienna completely dominating the game, this uh, bouncing back from the destruction that Sturm Graz um, <laughs> in, inflicted on them. However, they were also, um, out of nowhere, Friedrichus got a penalty, but uh, it was saved. Um, and then just, you know, again, sex and half it. A little bit, uh, Austria's event just lay, letting Luster hang, hang around, who could get a little bit, but then Gruber makes a second and that settles the game. And then even get a penalty, and that one's also saved. So, not a good day for penalty takers, and it got even worse. In blau weiss Linz's home debut at the new arena, uh, right at the Danube, between the bridges. Uh, it, actually, the pan panorama is quite nice, I have to say, although it has a few... I would like that behind there was not a, like a construction area and kind of an industrial area, but you see kind of the bridges over the Danube, the hills in, in, in the background. I, have to, I give it to them. It's a small stadium, but it actually looks quite good overall. Uh, I was blau Weiss fans coming out in force. It was not a sellout, even though it's a small sta it's a stadium, but it also shows about the fan base uh, that is just not as big as Lusk's fan base, for sure. 
Uh, the game started well for Blauweiss with uh, hardware giving off a real uh, horrid penalty that Koch then converts with a potential double touch. Uh, but I think they looked at the VAR and they went their way. But the longer the game went, the more Hartberg got control of it. And Maxi Antrup made a really great goal to equal it. And he sits slung of just five minutes later. And it's 2 1. And then they even get a penalty that Providence is saved. Hartberg, though, much control. Prokop makes it 3 1. Game over. Or so you thought. Out of nowhere, Ronnie Waldo pulls, pulls one back and you really thought that the air was taking out of the game. But suddenly there's life again and then two minutes later, uh, Gölles, after Ronnie Waldo assist, makes it 3-3. Uh, three, three. However, there was, for my inkling, it was a clear foul in the build-up. Um, but yeah, it's a comeback for blau Weiss, who were clearly the second best on this day. And Hartberg again, again giving up a two-goal lead in a game. So uh, they also have to ask themselves some serious questions because overall, just they are, I think they're a much better, better team than they look like. And then we finish with Red Bull Salzburg um, having some hard time. Uh, Tirol really took it tight, held them off uh, at, at bay. But just at, at, at one moment, there was a dead ball situation that Konate then heads in. And that was kind of the uh, opener. For that game, they can open and then lay down Salzburg at two more goals. There should have been a penalty given also for Tirol, which I don't know why this wasn't given. It was a clear step on there. But hey. So yeah, we have now uh, in the standings, Salzburg and Graz, Sturm Graz are on, on top. The rest of the league does not uh, live, live up there. We still have the game between the two Kärnten teams. So that could uh, add another six. The Vienna teams actually bouncing back. The Linz team's looking really, really bad at, at, at the moment. And do the goal difference, Blauweiss is even ahead of Lusk. Not liking that one bit, but as I said, the clouds are dark in Lusk land. They even lose in the expected regular season standings. Now two spots to the two Vienna teams. Doesn't get anyone happy. I can tell you, at least in the uh, overall standings, uh, they're still on track for third. Next round, we actually have a couple of interesting games. I think Sturm Graz against Austria Klagenfurt could be an interesting one. Sturm Graz coming off the PSV game. Austria Klagenfurt have the home game against Wals Wolfsburg. Uh, that has been one. Then, of course, the Linz Derby. I will make a video on the history of the Linz Derby uh, that you will get later this week, potentially even on that match day. And then Red Bull Salzburg against Austria Vienna. I'm curious to see that one too. So, yeah, that was it for me from the Austrian Bundesliga. Let, let me know what you thought about the happenings. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel to see more, I'll talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!